Right then guys, how's it going and welcome back to a new video. So we are now two weeks away from the start of the new Premier League season. I am six weeks overdue for a haircut and I thought it was time to come on here and do my first draft team for the upcoming season. But before we take a quick look at that, um, I want to remind you guys, if you want to join my Fantasy League team, you can do. I will put the link on the screen for you guys now, and I will also put it down in the description as well. If you were already in my Fantasy League team from last year or the year before that, you don't have to worry about it because it will automatically have put you in when I've refreshed the league. So as you can see here, it's just called Rubenstein's FL. Um, and there is already loads of you guys in the league. If I quickly skip through the pages here, I remember uh, last season, I think we had a good few thousand people. Uh, and it could well be the same this season as well by the looks of it so far. So as I say, if you want to get involved, be sure to uh, join with the link with the code on screen. Uh, and let's take a look at uh, my first Fantasy League draft for the 2020-21 season. So as I say, this is my first draft. I spent some time looking at it yesterday. I spent a little bit more time this morning. So there will definitely be changes coming to my team. But I still wanted to show you guys what I've got so far. Kind of explain some of the reasons why I've picked some of the players. Obviously, I want to hear what you guys think of my team. And let me know if there's anyone down below that you think will be a good pick. Uh, whether I've got them or not. Um, and yeah, this is the team we are looking at. So we'll start off with goalkeepers. I've gone with McCarthy in goal. He is the Southampton goalkeeper. Southampton have got a decent string of fixtures to start off with Crystal Palace, then Tottenham at home, then Burnley, then West Brom. So that's not too bad uh, for Southampton, which is why I've gone for him. Along with the fact he's 4.5 million, there aren't that many decent 4.5 million goalkeepers this year. I think uh, Ryan from Brighton um, is one of, if not the only other option. Uh, you look at Pope has gone up to 5.5, Henderson 5.5, Schmeichel 5.5. You know, it's quite a big jump um, this year on some of the prices for the goalkeepers. So Southampton have got a decent start and I think he will be quite a popular choice for most people. And then I've just stuck Martin in there um, as a 4 million goalkeeper who isn't going to play. As for the defence, this is an area I've probably spent longer on than I wanted to. And to be honest, I think will definitely change. Uh, one part of it that won't change is Alexander-Arnold. Um, free kicks, corners, assists, goals, clean sheets. Uh, I think everyone is going to have him in. 7.5 million, but... Um, I don't think you can't put him in. And then after that, in terms of James from Chelsea, Justin from Leicester, Davies from Spurs, are really players from teams who I think have got a decent set of opening fixtures. Um, Chelsea have got Brighton, then Liverpool, but then West Brom, Crystal Palace, Southampton. Uh, Justin from Leicester has got West Brom, Burnley, Man City, West Ham, Aston Villa. Uh, Davies from Spurs has got Everton, Southampton, Newcastle, Man U, West Ham, Burnley, Brighton, West Brom. So I think Spurs looks like they've got a very decent start fixture list. So that's where I've gone from them three. For them three, um, I think they could easily change closer to the start of the season. And then I've gone for Vinagri from Wolves. Um, again, he seems like a popular option because we know how well Wolves did last season defensively. I felt like I needed to have some sort of Wolves defender uh, in the team. But with the likes of Doherty going up to 6 million, potentially even moving to Spurs, they've had an injury in Johnny. Uh, it looks like Vinagri will start the season at the moment. Uh, and for 4.5 million, I think, is, is a decent shout. Um, they start off with Sheffield United, then Man City. But then after that, it's West Ham, Fulham, Leeds, Newcastle, Crystal Palace. So again, I'm kind of basing my defence around the fixtures these teams are coming up uh, for the first five, six games of the season. So one thing I normally like to do in my first video is throw out a few budget players. Uh, normally budget defenders... I am normally criticised for spending too much up front and not at the back, uh, which 
I understand the criticism for, to be honest. I normally like to just go for the flashy players up front and stick some £4 million defenders at the back, but sometimes it works out. If you look at Lundstram from last season, £4 million Sheffield United defender who actually played in midfield and got a whole load of points. Uh, I remember a few seasons back I had... Hagazi in from West Brom when they were in the Premier League and he actually scored on his first game of the season. He was £4 million defender as well. This season, um, and you can tell by my team, I haven't got any £4 million defenders in there at the minute. I have struggled to find some of the budget £4 million defenders. I think a problem this season, or it seems, is that a lot of the promoted sides, players are already £4.5 million. Um, and when you can get a Leicester defender for 4.5 million or a Wolves defender for 4.5 million, it, it's probably a better back than some of the promoter teams' defenders. But you don't know. Um, but in terms of £4 million defenders, I have struggled. So if you know anyone, please let me know down below. A few that I have seen and people have talked about, uh, one of which is Ferguson from Crystal Palace. He is only £4 million. Uh, You can see Crystal Palace have got a whole string of injuries at the minute, uh, and it could well be that he starts the season for them. Um, he is, in fact, injured himself, according to Fantasy Football, so I'm not sure if it's worth the risk. Along with the fact that Crystal Palace start their season off against Southampton, Man U, Everton, Chelsea. Um, he's £4 million. He may well start, but with a horrible string of fixtures to start with uh, and another player people have spoken about is actually from a promoted side it is a Leeds player called uh, Douglas again 4 million you can see there straight away like players like Ailing, who I think would be a very decent buy of 4.5 million Douglas uh, potential not to start I think is the reason he's been put down at 4 million but still I think that's not a bad bet at 4 million at all Except for the fact, again, Leeds start off against Liverpool, then play Fulham, which is alright, then play Sheffield United, Man City and Wolves. So again, uh, if you're looking for a £4 million player to have in your team, bench, whatever, for the whole season, Douglas might not be a bad shout at £4 million for a player who looks likely, potentially, to start and at a low price. But yeah, there is no open-eyed, easy-spotted £4 million players who are going to start that I can see. Um, so, I've given you a few names. I haven't even got them in my own team at the minute. I may well put them in, uh, but in terms of an obvious budget player like Lundstrand was last year, it has, it has been a struggle. So, if you know any, uh, let me da know down below, because I will definitely like to put them in my team. Moving into midfield, so I haven't actually mentioned it yet, but if you didn't know, uh, Man City, Man U, Burnley and Aston Villa are all not in the first game week this season. Because Man U and Man City got into the later stages of their European competitions, they've been given an extra week's break, which means if I scroll down you can see here we only actually have eight games to start the season this year, which means players like De Bruyne, um, Sterling, you can see Rashford's been moved into a midfield position, uh, Bruno Fernandes, those players will not be in the first week uh, and I can tell you now Bruno Fernandes was one of the players I wanted to have in my team from the start. Do you put them in and then just take the blank first week and then have them start up in the second week or do you just not put them in from the start? Or do you, do you use your wild card early so that you can move those players into your team? You know, there's a lot of questions around that. I still haven't come to a final decision on it. The way I'm thinking at the moment, if we look at my team, is I've put Salah in again. No, I mean, Liverpool playing Leeds first game of the season. We don't know how that's going to go down. But in terms of the expensive midfielders, I think he's the one. Um, and I've got Mbamyang in, yeah. Mbamnyang has been moved to a midfielder. I'm I'm not an Arsenal fan. I don't watch them a lot, but from what I have seen, I wasn't aware he'd been playing a midfield. Maybe I'm wrong, um, but there you go. And at 12 million, I've put him in partially because Salah and Mbamnyang, Arsenal have got two e decent games to start with Fulham, then West Ham, and then it goes Liverpool, Sheffield United, Man City, Leicester, Man U. So Arsenal with two decent games to start, then five pretty tough fixtures. I think the plan is have Mbamnyang in for at least the first game, 
quite possibly the second game and then we're looking at uh, the Man City Man United players quick straight swap with Aubameyang for De Bruyne or Sterling or maybe Bruno Fernandes so I'm pretty sure that those two players will definitely be in the start of my team and then the rest of the midfield gets a little bit a little bit haywire because I've gone St Max I think St Max again I'm a Newcastle fan I'm biased and I'm always more hopeful than I should be but Newcastle again two decent fixtures to start off taking on West Ham and Brighton and at four, four, uh, 5.5 million I think it's probably one of the best options at that price um, and then I've got Stevens and Romeo for 4.5 because I have spent too much up front um, so yeah again how I'll change that around I'm, I'm not 100% sure I think St Max is a good price at 5.5 the problem is is once these Man City and Man United players come back I'm just not giving myself much room to get another one in but to finish up with the strikers we've got um, Chelsea striker Werner um, they start off with Brighton then Liverpool then West Brom then Crystal Palace then Southampton Obviously, he's new to the Premier League, uh, but I think he's going to be their, their out-and-out striker. Chelsea are building this season. They're bringing in the new signings. <laughs> Is it a bit of a punt? I'm not sure because we haven't seen what he did last season. Uh, but I think he's, he's going to be a good option. I think a lot of people have him in. Sorry, I'll just change that to striker so we can see. 9.5 million alternatives. Vardy, Martial, Ings, Jimenez... Kane again because players like Mbamniang have been moved into um, a midfield role there isn't as many strikers to potentially go for um, I have put Harry Kane in there he's expensive I mean straight away if I took him out I could save myself 2 million and go for Jimenez go for Danny Ings I've already mentioned that uh, Southampton have got a decent start to the season in terms of fixtures um, Wolves a couple of tough games but then leading to a good five game um, run of decent fixtures I've gone for Harry Kane because as I mentioned if you think Spurs can hit the mark and get started in a good way this season Everton, Southampton, Newcastle, Man U West Ham, Burnley, Brighton West Brom if, if Kane can hit the mark in the first game or two and start scoring goals I think he could easily have a very good seven or eight games start of the season and if that happens I think Davies will automatically gain from that as well from being in the defence hopefully keeping a clean sheet it's just the fact that he cost 10.5 million Kane did get his shooting boots on if, after the break um, and we know Kane doesn't like to score goals in August so technically maybe you'll actually miss out on that this season because the season has started late um, yeah it's it's tough um, and then I've got Mitrovic from Fulham again if you think Fulham are going to come up and do well then I don't think Fulham players are a bad shout they do start off with Arsenal which isn't great but then move into Leeds and Aston Villa Wolves Sheffield United then Crystal Palace West Brom West Ham so again if you think Fulham are going to come up and do something and, it, and to be honest in terms of how much money I had left to spend on a third striker for a £6 million player I didn't think he was too bad of a shout considering Joe Linton is £6 million and scored two goals last season um, I'd fancy Mitrovic to probably get more than that uh, so and I'm a Newcastle fan I shouldn't say that no uh, Joe Linton's going to get 15 goals I'm going to I'm going to swap them now uh, no uh, but yeah so that, that is kind of what I've what my team's looking like as I say I do plan on changing it defensively I think monetary wise I will be spending about the same amount it's just more about who is where um, and then I think my big thing for midfielders and strikers is ideally if possible um, I could free up some more money so that I could potentially even have like a three big player midfield I think I've spent quite high in the front I mean if I mean there's three players there Werner Mitrovic and Kane who could all easily start the season well score goals and it will be worth it but I feel like maybe spending less in the forwards and having more room to also bring in a Sterling could quite easily bring more reward 
um, than the strikers I've got at the minute. So that's, yeah. That's where I am. One thing I quite like to do as well, to be fair, is take a quick look at what other people are doing. So if we go on here and actually put in team selected by, it actually just tells you who is the most selected player. So you can see that Pope, despite his four, uh, is is up in price to 5.5 million, is still the most picked goalkeeper. So maybe there's something from that. You can see that Ryan, 4.5. So a lot of people are actually backing the Brighton goalkeeper over the, the Southampton one that I've gone for. As I say, Brighton start the season against Chelsea, Newcastle, Man U, Everton. Um, I think uh, Brighton have got a tough start. Unless there's people putting him in as their second goalkeeper. Um, I feel like that is... Um, well, I don't know. Who, what am I to say? You know, Southampton could get stuffed first five games of the season. But that's why I went for McCarthy. Uh, defensively, Alexander-Arnold, as you imagine, is picked by 56% of people. Uh, Van Dijk, 23. Doherty. Um, again, as I mentioned, he is a fantastic fullback. Just that 6 million. I'm struggling to get everyone in. Um, Egan, 5 million from Sheffield United again. Maybe that isn't a bad shout. They've got Wolves first game, then Aston Villa, then Leeds. So a few decent games for them. Vinagre is quite popularly picked from Wolves as well, as I mentioned, just to have a Wolves player. Uh, in midfield, De Bruyne is the most picked player, despite the fact that he isn't playing in the first game, which I find quite surprising. Um, Aubameyang, then Salah. I'm guessing Salah is less than Aubameyang because some people will have backed Mane instead of Salah because I think people are picking one of the two. Um, I think Aubameyang is highly picked because people could very well be taking him out first game and putting in someone else after the third game, like I mentioned. Fernandez, 10.5 million. As I say, I want him in my team. I think I need to, to basically find 10.5 million in the midfield so I can do that swap into the second week I think that's going to be my plan I'm going to have to lose some money up front to try and bring in some money in the midfield so that can be my swap um, and then Son again if you think Spurs are going to do well this season um, or are going to do well in that first 8 decent starting games I don't think Son is a bad shout either 9 million and then uh, St. Max, as I say, very decent price, 5.5. Triori, another Wol Wolves player. Stevens, because he's 4.5. And then Strikers. Uh, Werner is picked by almost 40% of people, so maybe I do need to leave him in. Uh, Mitrovic, 30% of people. As I say, Fulham's fixtures are decent. He's only 6 million. He's going to start. Then Ings, then Jimenez. Uh, Martial, Kane is down a little bit and then Vardy as well um, so yeah that is where I'm going to leave it, you know what actually let's just have a quick look at my team I did kind of set it up as if it was the first game of the season um, as you can, as I say defensively the way I've done it is that they've all got decent-ish fixtures to start um, and that's kind of where I've gone, probably will be Salah captain um, but again, this isn't my final draft. I do plan to make changes. But as I say, if you haven't joined the league already, the link, uh, the code is on the screen now. So yeah, get your uh, code in the league. Join me and everyone else who's already in there. Uh, drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new. Let me know what you're doing with your team. Are you putting the man you Man City players in? Or are you going to hold off? Um, have you found any 4 million budget defenders that I can borrow off you because I'm in desperate need of a few um, and yeah as I say hope you guys have enjoyed it enjoy the weekend I'll be back uh, for my final draft um, a few days before the beginning of the season so look out for that alright thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later